All right, hello there, my name is Santi, and I am making my online course on Obsidian, and I am trying to teach people the very fundamentals of how to use Obsidian. And I was, as I was teaching how to create links between things, I just noticed this new functionality being released in version 9.5. Uh, right now I'm using 9.6, and I'm gonna show you how this works. It's really, really cool. It's links to blocks, so if we just go to Obsidian and have a new file, new thought, this is part of the demo that I was using for the online course. As you know, Obsidian has ways to create links. So if we do a double bracket, here we can access different files. And I'm gonna do, for instance, Clarity will pull it forward. Now if I press Alt, Enter, I can access that file. And I can see I have a couple of different headings. Now, previously Obsidian, and I can go back with Control Alt, left arrow. Pre uh, Obsidian already had the functionality of linking to specific headings. So right now I'm just gonna split this view just to show you real quick. I'm gonna collapse this right here. And I'm just gonna loop to the, well, no, actually I'm just gonna go to preview mode and click in here, cool. So these are different headings, right? And I can see that there's a heading one, a heading two and so on. Now, I'm gonna just show you how Obsidian used to do this. And it's very useful if you go double bracket now you can go to Clarity, we'll pull you forward. I'm gonna press tab just to complete that. And if I press hashtag in here, it's gonna allow me to access the different headings that exist within this file. Now, if I go to, for instance, Clarity on your vision makes a difference, and I click in there. If I go to preview mode, we can see the name of the file followed by the actual title. And sorry, there's a helicopter in the background, so <laughs> sorry for the noise. Um, but now I'm gonna close this in here and we can not only link to nodes, but we can link to headings inside nodes now, right? So Clarity will pull it forward. That's the name of the file we're sent to, but we're specifically sent to this heading that we chose in the link, right? Now, what happens in situations where, let me just see. Yeah, okay, so if we, for instance, go to, not that one, but like how to be an entrepreneur, this one. If I go into preview mode with Control E, which is the default, and Control click, I can open it in a separate pane. Now this one doesn't have headings. So how can I, for instance, link to this specific paragraph without having to, without having to create a heading necessarily? Because it's not always, you know, you know, you might not always want to create headings for every single thing. So what I'm gonna show you right now is I'm gonna delete this line, and I am gonna do double bracket. And instead, well, first I'm going to go how to be an entrepreneur, which is a file that we're looking for. I'm going to press tab. And now instead of using the hashtag, because there's no headings inside this file, I can do this symbol right here. Type, uh, I have no idea what this thing is called, but this little hat symbol. And if I click on that, I can see the different blocks. And a block is just defined by, by a space where, you know, there's either a line above or below. So this is a block, and this is a block as well. So... Again, if we're gonna go here, I'm gonna do that again. And now we can link to this, putting our name on it there. And as you can see, it created this ID number. So now it's 41B9E5, which is kind of like a, a specific identification that is gonna identify this block of text as a, a very unique, as one, <laughs> you know, the only, the only block of text that's gonna have this specific number. Meaning that if we close this, and we go into preview mode with Control E. Now I can click in here and it's gonna take me exactly where I need to because it identifies with this ID and that is gonna allow us to navigate through a specific sections of files. Now, the way that I use Obsidian is usually trying to keep things very concise. So I don't always make use of, uh, you know, I don't even m tend to make that much use of linking straight into headings, but it's going to be very useful for cases where your nodes are really long and you need to uh, specify one very concrete paragraph or something like that. Now, something really cool is that if we go back here and we do an exclamation mark, now this is an embedded piece of, you know, this is going to embed that section of that node. So if we go into preview mode, we can see that it's just that section that we can see and we can click in here, control click, it's gonna open it there and it's just embedding this part here. So embedding is something really useful and that is something I'm, I'm covering in my online course. So if you want to check out, what did I do? I just closed everything. 
But yeah, if you want to check out more of the fundamentals of Obsidian, if you want to learn some advanced uh, ways in which you can navigate Obsidian quicker and, you know, just really master the fundamentals, check out the link in the description where you can have access to my course. As I'm recording this right now, it has a heavy discount for early birds because it's still in development as I record this and the price is going to go up as as, as I keep adding more value to it and so on. Uh, but yeah, this is a really cool feature. I really hope you check it out. Uh, oh, finally, yeah, I almost forgot. If you go to, if you do this, if you if you want to search through every every single possibility of block of text that you can link to, you can do the double bracket followed by two of these symbols. And now you can link anything inside your, inside of your vault. So let's just pick something random. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to click this one. And now if we access that, I can also access it through Alt-Enter. Uh, it's going to take us here, which, you know, is just a specific section that we had in here. I'm going to go back. And again, we can just embed that by doing it like this. And now we have that linked in there. So, yeah, I mean, that's about it. It's a really, really cool feature. You can check and read more about it. Links to blocks, which is in the in the health vault. And I can leave, leave a link of this in the description. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.